Welcome everyone to Nikki Loves Books. We got our Owl Crate box just now, and I believe this is the January 2022 box. Pretty sure last time I checked the updates that the Owl Crate from December 2021 was still not shipped. Um, so a little out of order today, but so excited as always. Thank you all for being here and let's go ahead and crack into the Owl Crate January 2022 box. So of course the first thing we're going to look at is the theme. So for the January 2022 Owl Crate box, it's Thrill of the Hunt. And there's that pretty artwork that I show you guys every single month. Okay, we got rid of majority of that stuffing that, of course, my cat Kirby is like, oh my god, what is that? Can I play with it? I want all that paper. He loves garbage. He doesn't want toys. He wants garbage. All right, I think we're going to go ahead and go for that big box first. So, this big box looks very much like it's Lord of the Rings inspired. I don't know about you guys, but I'm recognizing this map or at least part of it. Oh yeah, there's Mordor. So this is definitely Lord of the Rings. Opening this box up. Looks like a very pretty bowl. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. Together with artist Janie LaCour, we're bringing a bit of the magic of Middle Earth to your table with a limited edition ceramic bowl collection. Each bowl in this series celebrates a different iconic location from Tolkien's Lord of the Rings universe. We're beginning our journey in the Dwarven Kingdom of Erebor, perfect for a box full of heists. Thorin Oakenshield's quote, Loyalty, honor, a willing heart, I can ask no more than that, is rendered in Dwarven runes along the bowl's edge. The box features a map of Middle Earth designed by Mapmaker in the Reeds. I'm actually really excited about this. This is so pretty. Okay. So this little guy says literary luggage design number one of 12 limited edition enamel pin collection so introducing our 2022 enamel pin collection literary luggage each month's box will include a suitcase pin featuring a beloved fictional location all designed by hey atlas creative to kick off the collection, we're traveling to Red London from a darker shade of magic. Which the blasphemy here is I still have not read a darker shade of magic. It's a terrible, terrible truth. And hopefully I'll get to it this year. Who the heck knows? Next up, we got a red velvet bag. So something's in this. And this is kind of fun. So it's an Arwinian dinar coin. So it's basically fake money inspired by the book, um, which I think We Hunt the Flame is the book. So it's fake money, but it's kind of neat. Author and artist Hafsa Faisal of Icy Designs created a unique fictional souvenir straight from the pages of her own book, We Hunt the Flame. This dinar coin is designed to resemble the currency you would find in the fictional kingdom of Arwia. 
Dinar coin, so 10 dinar. All right, so this is a banner um, to hang your enamel pin collection, if you so choose. So, so, to celebrate the beginning of our literary luggage series, Hey Atlas Creative has also designed a compass pin banner. Use it to display and organize your enamel pin collection throughout the year. I think all of us recognize this one. No mourners, no funerals. And this is from, of course, Six of Crows. Looking to stash away your crow club earnings? Keep your Krug safe inside this officially licensed Six of Crows canvas pouch from Out of Print featuring the Catterdam skyline. Oh, look at that. Look at this beauty. So this is a wooden bookmark. I have a few of these, but I've never seen one gilded with gold, or at least I don't own one gilded with gold. So this is very exciting. Wick and Wonder transformed one of our favorite quotes from the Gilded Wolves into this wooden bookmark featuring Parisian inspired design to suit the book's setting. It says, make yourself a myth and live within it so that you belong to no one but yourself. All right, Owl Crate fans, you know the drill before we get to the book. I want to remind you all that please subscribe, 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 like, comment, share, whatever you want to do, whatever you're comfortable with. But please know that I do these videos every single month as soon as I get the Owl Crate box. And I do also do book reviews and recaps. So please subscribe and check out my channel. And of course, for our main event, the whole reason why I get Owlcray is for the book. So we have The Ivory Key by Akshaya Rahman. I'm really liking this colorful cover. It is pretty. So let's find out all the cool things about the Owlcray exclusive copy of this book, The Ivory Key. Our book selection this month is the first in an Indian-inspired fantasy duology. In the Ivory Key, magic is a prized resource, and it's the only thing between peace and war. When magic runs out, four estranged royal siblings must find a new source before their country is swallowed by invading forces. Our signed edition features an exclusive cover as well as our reversible dust jacket art created by artist Ariana Javier. You will also find an exclusive foil stamp on the hardcover case beneath the jacket. And as always, there is an author letter. So author Akshaya Rahman wrote a letter just for our subscribers as well. Next up, we also have, of course, the Owl Crate January 2022 newsletter. So first off, they always have an interview with the author. They also share the differences between the original cover and the Owl Crate exclusive. So the Owl Crate exclusive is the darker one. The original is that white one. And I think both of them are a lot of fun. I like the Owl Crate version a lot better. I think it pops more, but this one is super beautiful too with that white background. Both I think I do a really good job of indicating that it's 
India with those colors and the architecture on the building. And of course the font even. There's always something fun on the next page. And this time we got a crossword puzzle, which is Middle Earth. My cat is now leaning against my phone stand. So that's fun. Um, yes, so fun. So if you end up liking the Ivory Key, they do give you a few book recommendations that are similar. So first up, we have The Gilded Wolves by Roshani Chokshi, which I loved that book. I highly recommend it. I'm actually probably going to reread it this year um, because I finally bought the third book in the trilogy and I haven't done a book recap for The Gilded Wolves or the second book. So yeah, I, I need to probably reread the first and second book before I start the third one. Next book that they recommend if you like The Ivory Key is Nocturna by Maya Montaigne. And last but not least, we have We Hunt the Flame by Hafsaz Fezal. Which, by the way, I own this book, We Hunt the Flame, because it was an Owl Crate book. I have not actually gotten to it yet, but hopefully this year. Speaking of Hafsa Fazal, is she is the vendor for this month that they interviewed. And she, of course, if you remember, did the coin from this box that was inspired by her book, We Hunt the Flame. They also have information if you want to do the photo challenge as well as the owl babble with the author. So that is a live chat at a certain day and time with the author of the book for the month. They also have been doing for the past couple months, and I'm so excited for these. I love these, is they do a playlist on Spotify you know, focusing around a book theme or a book in general. So this is the Kings and Queens of Catterdam, a Six of Crows inspired playlist created for Kaz Breaker and his Crow Club who rule the streets of Catterdam. And the very last thing in the Owl Crate newsletter is other book releases that they're excited about for this month. So we have Ashes of Gold by J. Ellie. Cold the Night, Fast the Wolves by Meg Long. The Red Palace by June Her. Night Render by Jody Meadows. And last, The Bone Spindle by Leslie Veter. And of course, before we leave, we do need to find out the theme of the February box. And the February box theme is Among the Monsters. Look how pretty this is. God. And every February box will include a set of bookends designed by No One Designs. Oh, that's so exciting. I could always use more bookends. So please subscribe and join me here for Among the Monsters, the February box. Of course, before then, we will most likely, keep my fingers crossed, we'll get the December 2021 box because we have not received that yet. So hopefully that comes. Thank you all for being here. Remember, Nikki loves books. We'll catch you next time.